so gentlemen we'll talk about the vit vit so there are two kinds of plungers seen as you might have observed in generators this is one type of plunger with a helix made like this and another plunger which helix is made different this way this what is the difference between these two plungers here what we can see is that the topmost position of the helix is fixed at the highest point of the of the height that means the starting of the ejection of the fuel will be constant and as the load goes on increasing more and more amount of fuel is increased and in this plunger the vit is not applicable because it is a fixed injection timing it is not variable because at all loads the starting of the injection is fixed this plunger the helix is made like this so what will happen is that as you can see with the lesser loads or at say at lesser rpms the starting of the fuel is say at this point and when the rpm goes on increasing or say load goes on increasing that means more and more fuel is injected what happens the curve is made like this closer to its height that means the starting of the injection of the fuel is advanced so the suction port is closed more and more faster as the fuel rate goes on increasing so this is called the variable injection timing because the what it means by timing is that the time at which the injection is made here we saw at different loads at different loads the injection timing is varied or to say the injection timing is advanced this is the type of vit plunger it is now it is made with the you can find it in the general this fuel pumps where the scope of the changing the vit rank or where the vit rank is not made but vit is it is made in the plunger itself so here it will be vit and here it is non vit so in this case the timing is very but here it, one point it can be said is that the starting time is fixed at, at the various loads 
at different loads at this load starting time is this one at this load starting time is this one and at this load starting time is this one that means the starting times for the increasing loads are fixed for whatever load or whatever rpm of the engine is there that means in this case the vit is sort of fixed vit that means the advancement of the fuel injection is fixed that means the angle by which the fuel injection advancement is made it is fixed with the varying loads that is why it is called a simple vit and in this case if the quality of the fuel changes then the vit will be simply same for all types of fuel and if some quality of the fuel goes on changing if the fuel quality of the fuel is not as good as the previous time then it might not undergo combustion properly because the now then the time lag is lesser and lesser so the needs to be given some more time to the fuel so that it gets ready for the combustion and start expansion so there should be an element to change this starting times of the fuel injection manually which is which can be set for a particular type of particular quality of fuel which should be able to be changed according to the quality of the fuel so in that case the starting of the injection can be changed even if the helix is made in this way that means how i can change now the injection time what it depends it depends on the shape of the helix this helix is shape is fixed and it also depends on the time at which the suction port is closed by this helix so a different arrangement with the new fuel pumps is made generally with the main engines with the larger engines for the larger amounts of fuel are injected into the cylinder where the arrangement is made for the vertical vertical movement of the barrel and thereby changing the position of the suction port and thereby being able to change the time at which the suction port is closed and thus the injection time starting can be changed so in that case the manual arrangements are made and that is called super vit that is called super vit so in that the manual arrangements are made so there will be two rack one is for the fuel rack another is for the vit index rack that means 
VAT index is the angle by which the advancement is made. So that is the super VAT. So in those engines, according to the quality of the fuel, again and again we can change the advancement of the injection of the fuel according to the load and according to the RPM. That is called the super VAT.